Hello everybody, this is Mike. Today we're going to play another practice round in Action PC Golf 2021. And today we're going to use a 1973 golfer and play on the newly released course Old Midlothian, which is actually the Midlothian Country Club located outside of Chicago, Illinois. So we'll pick a random golfer. You see Midlothian Country Club hosted the 1973 Western Open, so we'll use the 1973 layout. And let's choose pin position 3 for today's round. We'll download live weather from Chicago. It's currently 85 degrees, 5 degree, uh, five mile an hour per, 5 mile per hour wind. And let's start our round. Okay, first hole is part four, 425 yards. Looks like it's lined, uh, both sides of the fairway are lined with trees. We'll take a look at our terrain, looks pretty flat. So let's give the winds in our face, just aim right down the middle. Looks like he's missed it out to the right a bit. See 6.6 .6 degree miss. So now, on our second shot, we have to see if we have tree trouble. So if I aim here, I have a 2% chance of hitting a tree. So I will take that risk. And that's a pretty good shot. So now we have a 20 feet, left to right breaker, let's see, 12%, 15%, I will do a regular putt. Left it short, tap in for our par. So it looks like we have out of bounds on the right, uh, the left side is Pinched in by two bunkers, right side by one. Looks like if we hit something, probably don't need a driver. Let's try 229, should be enough to clear. Right down the left side of the fairway. So the green slopes from back to front. We want to leave the putt somewhere below the hole. Try a knockdown shot. So knockdown shot will kind of cut through the wind, so I can aim a little bit more aggressively below the hole, but still a ways away, 27 feet. Good roll. So tap in for par. So we're even after two. Okay, so we have a par three. You can see it looks the uh, description said it's elevated, which you can tell by these arrows. They all slope away from all sides of the green. Water in front, which shouldn't be in play if we hit a reasonably good shot. Another tap in for par. Five hundred forty yard part five. Let's take a look at the fairway. Looks to be a little bit of undulation if we can clear this area, which I don't know if we can with the wind. That should hang on to the left edge, so we're in okay shape. 
does not look reachable, obviously, to the, the, the fact that the, the fairway dog leg is hard to the left, so I'm going to lay up right about here. should leave me a good good approach into this green for my third shot. Okay, so should be able to take a little bit off this one. And I'm going to put some spin on it to see if he can back it up a little bit. So pretty good shot. I probably didn't need to spin. In fact, if I didn't have spin, it might have been a lot closer. Uphill putt. I'm going to be aggressive here. So made another par. Okay, we have water, uh, two water hazards on the right, trees on the left. Fairway looks to be pretty wide. I don't need to get crazy here. I can probably just hit an iron right into the middle of fairway. So two tier green. Uh, the whole location is on the back tier. Uh, wind is blowing slightly to the from left to right so if I aim right at the flag if I miss if I hit it dead straight it should probably end up over here due to the wind if I pull a little bit maybe the wind will counteract it and it will actually end sort of near where I'm aiming so that's a that's an okay shot not bad 15 feet for birdie Right to left putt. If I miss, I'm going to only be three feet away. So I'm going to be aggressive here. Try to make a birdie. Missed again. Ta another tap in for my par. So after five, I am paring away here. Uh, so behind the green, it looks like we have... Uh, some slope away from the green so you definitely don't want to be long here. Uh, let's take a look at the green itself. So the back portion looks to be raised and it's uh, back to front slope so anywhere on the green should be fine. That could be good. And that was a very good shot. So now I have a four footer for birdie. Knocks it home. One under after six. Uh, another par five. Looks like a split fairway. Okay, so I'm going to play slightly for the wind. It looks like he pulled it a little bit. We'll see at the we'll see what the shot details. So, yep, so he missed it 3% left, which is why he, aimed, he hit it left of where I aimed. Not the I most ideal position, but it would have been hard to get home into anyway with, with these 1973 golfers. So I'm going to look to lay up about here. That looks good. So for people who don't play golf, I mean, this is called course management. You're not always trying to hit the ball as far as you can with every single shot. You're not always aiming for the the, the, the hole every single shot when you're hitting a shot into the green. Um, you, you see what the course gives you, and you, you, know, you take advantage when there's opportunities to take advantage. So right now I'm on my third shot, third shot on a par 5. Uh, I have a, a lob wedge in my hand. I have a slope here where if I hit here, 
I'm going to be in good shape. If I hit over here, the ball will repel back towards the whole location. So I definitely want to be a little bit long. I don't want to be over the slope area, and I don't want to be short. So I have a little bit of leeway to play with. So I'm going to take dead aim right at the flag. I'm going to hit it high. So high, I'm hoping to hit a high shot where it doesn't roll much. And this could be good. That's pretty good. So I have about nine, eight feet for birdie. Left to right putt. I'm going to be aggressive here as well. Okay, knocked it in. So two birdies in a row, and maybe we got something going in this round. Long par 4 for 1973 players. Uh, it looks to be a little bit downhill, so that will help with the drive a little bit. So I will aim in the fairway. That may catch the bunker. And it does. So now I have a very long bunker shot. You can see the ball is a little bit below my feet, which again will mean for a right-handed golfer, the ball will tend to travel from left to right naturally. So I can aim a little bit left of my target line, also due to the wind. And I just want to make sure I try to get it there. I don't want to hit it too far because over the, over the screen doesn't look good. You can see the arrow indicates that there's a 9% grade uh, of slope running away from the hole. So shorter is better than longer here. So that looks to be a little bit shorter of the green, but that's fine. Okay, so this hole slopes from left to right. So I will try to just lag it and get it close and try to make a make a two putt for my par. Okay, so pretty pretty easy par after a poor drive. So we move on to the ninth, short par four. Uh, water left, water right. Looks like if I hit a driver, I'm potentially bringing this left water into play. So I'm going to hit something less than a driver to try to stay short. And that looks good. So now I have a short little wedge into this green. Slopes from back to front. I'm going to try to keep it below the hole. That's right at it. Spin. That's a good shot. So now I have about six feet for birdie. Seven feet. Knocked it in. So we're uh, th three under after nine holes. We have the makings of a you know pretty good round so far. Uh, back nine, part four. Looks like there's a lot of undulation and sloping in the fairway. So um, in this case, we're just going to kind of look for a flat area. Looks like 240 is pretty flat. Just try to get it on the, somewhere in the fairway, somewhere on a flat area, is to leave myself an easier second shot. So we got the green has multiple tiers. We have one, two, three tier green. Uh, behind the green slopes back towards the green. The front of the green looks like a little false front. So the pin is on the front section. So anywhere on this front tier of the green would be good. Uh, anything here is going to be a very difficult putt. So I will try to get my distance correct. That should be good. Very good. So now I have a, I have a good chance at birdie here. 12 feet. See if I miss, I'll only be 3 feet away. So I'm going to be aggressive again. Straight putt. Oh, just missed it to the right. Tap and birdie. Or tap and par rather, so we're still at three under. Let's 
see what this green looks like. We have an interest in long par 3. Got to have to hit it. Okay, so it looks like there's a little slope here for this area. Uh, where the whole location is now, it looks like it's just back to front sloping. So anywhere in the front should be fine. feet so it's within our makeable range. I'm just going to do a regular putt. Missed it. So good par. Hit a, hit a really good tee shot. Would have been nice to make birdie there but you can't make them all. Okay so we have a um, slight dog leg left par four. Not too long. So anything past 250 or so clears this sloped area. I don't know if I have enough club in my bag. Uh, his max range is 245, so if I really bust one, if I go over like 105%, he could potentially clear it. So I'm going to take that chance just so I don't have to hit out of this heavily sloped area. But the danger of going over 100% is you potentially get situations like this where your player hits the ball way offline. So um, that was the risk I took, and this in this chance I got penalized for doing it. So now I have a really tough second shot. Luckily, I can clear most of the tree. You can see it's only on this line. I only have a 1% chance of hitting a tree, so... I can be pretty aggressive with my line uh, to the flag. I'm going to put a little bit of a fade on it. Looks like he pulled the ball slightly. Let's see what it says. Pulled the ball slightly. Um, that's okay. So now I will 34. I'm going to lag it and just try to get close and make par here. Okay, another par. So going along pretty well. I have to find a birdie hole. Some of these holes are not easy to make birdies on, so those holes you just have to kind of play what the course gives you, take your par. Good drive to the left side of the fairway here. So this green has a very sharp uh, slope on the back and a very sharp slope here. So anything here should be good. I can be a little bit long, maybe 130, 128 would be here. I don't want to be too short though. So I will play Oh, he that was terrible. So he missed that way, right? So now I have a really Birdie chance out the window, so now I basically have to hit a good bunker shot to get up and down here. I'm going to do a standard shot. Not a great bunker shot. Still got some work to do here. Seven feet for my par. missed it so now I fall back to two under bad bogey I mean the, the drive was good it was just a bad second shot into the bunker and then a, a really not not a good bunker shot at all so fourteenth hole uh, looks like another long par four I have the wind going with me so I should get a little bit of a run Good drive and are in good position. 
not too much trouble on this green. So with the wind's on our back, so we can aim right for it. I'm gonna aim, try to hit a wedge and see if I can roll it up there. A little bit short of the green. And give it a putt and see if I can knock it in. Just missed it to the left, so another tap in par. So, long par 4, see 457 yards, that's very long for 1973. Uh, wind's in our face, uphill, so this is going to be a pretty tough hole for, for these guys. So, let's hope we hit the fairway, which we do. So that's a good start. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a long iron or a wood into the screen, I think. So we have we're 213 yards. Yeah, we're gonna have to hit a wood into the screen. So we'll hit a five wood. See if we can just get it in the middle of the green somewhere. And that's just a really, really, really good shot for back then. So now we have a really kind of an unexpected birdie opportunity, so I'm going to be aggressive. Ugh. Jerry Hurd's putting is killing us today. Another tap in par. So, real, really good opportunity missed. Par 5, uh, 530 yards. Looks like bunkers off to bunkers on the drive. Does not look reachable for Jerry Hurd today, so we're just going to try to hit the fairway. We did not catch the first cut. We caught the uh, the rough, so now our lie's not super great. Not too bad because we wouldn't have late, we wouldn't be able to reach the green anyway. So we're just gonna lay it up into this little landing area over here, and now we should have a short pitching wedge into the screen. Okay, so the green slopes a little right to left, a little bit, uh, a little right to left, a little back to front. So the wind is blowing a little bit from left to right. I'm going to aim slightly to the left. Hope we get some spin here. That was right over the pin. Go in. Nice. So Jerry Hurd holes in from the fairway for an unexpected eagle on this par 5 16th. And right just like that, we're back to four under. Hole 17, a super long par 3. Um, wow, so this is going to be an interesting hole. I'm going to have to hit a 3 wood off the tee on a par 3. So back back in 1973, this must have been a really difficult hole for these guys to play. Yeah, so he, he struck it fairly well. He didn't even reach the green, so now I'm going to have to go up and down to try to just make my par, so... Uh, try to chip it onto the green and run down to the hole okay so good par on a tough hole brings me to the 18th four under uh, looks like a downhill par 4 434 yards another again for 1973 this is actually a very long hole uh, my run out is 290. I don't think I can reach the end of the fairway, so I should be able to just blast it as far as I can and hopefully keep it in the fairway. That's a good shot. That's got to be 270 or so. 267. It's a good drive by Jerry Hurd. Looks like this landing area is all left to right. So I'm going to aim a little bit with the wind is on my back, so I'm just going to aim towards the middle of the fairway and just try to get in the middle of the green. 
a little bit short of where I wanted, but that's okay. So now I have 32 feet for birdie. I'm just going to lag it up, try to make my par. You see how much that ball curved from left to right on the screen? Tapping for par. Okay, so four under, pretty good round. Um, played very well in the front nine. Uh, didn't really have anything going on in the back nine, right? We didn't make any substantial putts. Uh, 16 was a total gift where we hold out from the fairway. Um, you know, that's what's great about this game. Sometimes the unexpected things happen. So that was a nice little uh, surprise. Uh, all in all, four under 67. Pretty good score for Jerry Hurd, uh, 1973 uh, player on this Midlothian Country Club. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you, thank you for uh, checking out our site, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.